This is how professional video editors equalize audio in Final Cut Pro. Final Cut has 20 EQ effects. What the heck? Which one do I use? How do I use it? Don't worry, I'll show you the best one and how to equalize your dialogue like the pros. Stay till the end because I'm gonna show you a cool trick for mixing your voice and music without dropping your music's volume. Okay, in Final Cut Pro, select a clip that you want to equalize and then open up the inspector. If you don't see it over here on the right-hand side, just click this button with the three sliders or press Command-4 to open it. Then go to the Audio Inspector by clicking on the speaker icon. You'll see here under Audio Enhancements, there's a built-in equalization that Final Cut Pro has. You can turn it on and off by checking the box right here. And you can also select different presets. Let's try this Voice Enhance. Here's what it sounds like without the equalization. Hey, this is Dylan, and this is an AVCHD file. And here's what it sounds like with the enhancement. Hey, this is Dylan, and this is an AVCHD file. And I don't know if it sounds any better. It actually sounds a little more hollow to me. But we can fine tune it by clicking on this button right here to bring up the UE. Okay, so this is a very simple and basic equalizer. These vertical lines represent different frequencies in the audio. And then this horizontal line right here is zero decibels. If we want a frequency to sound louder, we'll move up. If we want it to be quieter, we'll move it down. There's a much more powerful equalizer, which I'll show you in just a second. But if you want to reset this equalizer, all you have to do is select the flat preset. And you'll see that it actually turned it off. All right, let's take a look at the channel EQ. Open up the effects browser on the right hand side by clicking this button or pressing Command 5 to open it up. And then scroll down to the audio section and you'll see an EQ category right here. Here's where Final Cut Pro has all their different EQs. Today we're just going to focus on this channel EQ. So I'll select it and I'll just drag and drop it onto my clip. And now in the inspector, you can see under effects, channel EQ. I can select built-in presets for my audio right here. I can also open up the parameters here and I can adjust different parameters right here in the inspector. But this is a little bit confusing and I find it a lot easier to use the user interface. So just click on this button right here to bring it up. You can change the size of the user interface with this pop-up right here. Oh, that's too small. Let's go back to 100. This middle line right here is zero decibels. And then you'll see we have different sections for different frequencies, kind of like what we had in the previous equalizer. We have these dots right here. And if I click and drag up or down on a dot, it changes that frequency. So here we're making the frequency quieter. And if we move it up, we're making it louder. I can also change where the frequency is. I can move up and down in the frequency spectrum. Most humans only hear from 20 hertz up to 20,000 hertz. You'll also notice that when I select one of these dots, it highlights this area down here for these controls. So this tells us what frequency we're adjusting, 100 hertz. And then the decibels tells us if we're making it louder, a plus decibel value will be louder, and then quieter, or a negative decibel value. You can also make changes by just clicking and dragging up and down on these values in the control panel. This third value is called Q. That's how wide our selection is. So if I bring this value up, you'll see we've got a pretty wide range there and I'm affecting or changing a lot of frequencies. But if I hover over one of the sides, I can click and drag to make it thinner and only affect a certain frequency, in this case, 133 Hertz, or I can make it very wide. I can also adjust the Q by clicking and dragging on it down here. Okay, these top buttons up here activate or deactivate these control points and then controls. These buttons on the end are for creating high pass and low pass filters. If we activate these, we can filter out the low frequencies or the high frequencies. If you ever get stuck and you want to reset it, just click on this pop-up menu right here and select default again and it will reset. This gain slider over here turns the baseline volume up or down. If you press this analyzer button, we can see the waveforms of our voice as it plays. So I'll select my clip and I'll go up to view playback and I'll select loop playback or I can just press command L to turn that on. And that will loop whatever I have selected. All right, so let's play this back. Hey, this is Dylan and this is an AVCHD file. And so you can see that my voice is around in this 100 up to about 8,000, 10,000 hertz. And we can see where most of the sound is coming from. For Q couple, I'll turn it off and I'll increase a frequency. And see how wide it is? It's a pretty smooth curve. All right, let's undo that. And now I'm gonna enable Q couple. And as I go up, it's not as smooth of curve. We've got more of a, an incline here and a decline there. And then for processing, I can select stereo or the other audio inputs. Okay, so let's equalize my audio here. First, let's boost this up just slightly 
But I want to go over a little bit to around 5,000 and I want to bring that up. Not too much, I want to be careful there. And I want to boost my base just slightly as well. There we go, let's listen to that. Hey, this is Dylan and this is an AVCHD file. And, and here it is without that effect. Hey, this is Dylan and this is an AVCHD file. Another thing we can do to equalize our audio is called a frequency sweep. So let's take one of these dots and I'm gonna bring it way up like so. And then I'm gonna bring my cue down and make it very narrow. And then during playback, I'm going to sweep that frequency up and down. And I wanna listen for where some strange sounds are coming through so that we can remove them. So let's play this back. Hey, this is Dylan and this is an AVCHD file and I'm gonna show you how to edit it in Final Cut Pro. So hey, I'm, this is Dylan, what I'm doing is I'm looking for the, this kind of weird loud sound. Edit it in Final Cut Pro. Hey, this is Dylan, and this is an AVCHD file, and I'm going to show you how to edit it. Kind of sounds Final like Cut right Pro. about here, around 1,000. So once I've got that nailed down, I'm going to do the opposite, and I'm going to pull that down and remove it from the frequencies. Seemed like there was another one right over here. So let's pull that up and make it very thin and let's play back. Hey, this is Dylan and this is an AVCHD file and I'm gonna show you how to edit it in Final Cut Pro. Right about there. So we'll do the same thing. We'll pull that down and remove that from the adjustments. All right, let's hear it now. Hey, this is Dylan and this is an AVCHD file. Let's try it without it. Hey, this is Dylan and this is an AVCHD file. You can also use built-in presets. Click on this button right here and come down here to voice. Let's try out Mel Vox 1. We click on that, you can see that it's already been set up. We'll play hey, it back. Hey, this is Dylan, and this is an AVCHD file. And of course you can adjust it and tweak it however you want. All right, let's say you've got your equalizer just how you want it. You can save it as a preset by clicking up here and then selecting Save Preset. We'll call that Dylan's Voice. Then press Enter. And now I can access that EQ right here. If I want to change the name or delete them, I can click on Reveal User Presets in Finder. And then I can select it and change the name. We'll call it Dylan's Golden Voice. And then if we come back here to Final Cut Pro, we'll see the name has been changed. If we want to delete it, we just reveal it, select it, and then delete it in Finder. And you'll see here it is gone. What's great about having a preset is I can add the channel EQ to a new clip. And if I click on the preset here, I can quickly add Dylan's voice to change right there. Before I show you that cool trick of mixing your voice and music, I gotta know, has this video been helpful? If so, will you please give it a thumbs up so that I know I'm doing a good job? Thanks, I really appreciate it. I can also match audio in Final Cut Pro. So I'll select the clip that I want to apply some changes to, and then if I go up to Modify, I can select Match Audio, or I can go here in the bottom left corner of the viewer and I can select Match Audio, or I can go to the Inspector and in the Equalizer, I can select Match as well. Or even faster, I can press the keyboard shortcut Shift Command M. And it brings up this dual display here and it wants me to select a clip that I want to match my audio with. So I'll select this clip over here that I've made some changes to and then I'll click apply match. And now you'll see that this audio has been changed. If we look at the equalizer here under audio enhancements, you can see that some changes have been made to match it with this one. Now to remove that audio matching, just select your clip, go to the inspector and change match to flat. Okay, I have some music and my voice at the same time. Let's check it out. The music's playing. Hey, this is Dylan, and this is an AVCHD file, and I'm gonna... I can barely hear myself, right? So normally what people do is they'll bring up the range selection tool by pressing R, they'll select the range where the person is talking, where I'm talking, and then press Control minus to bring the audio down. This is called audio ducking. So now the music plays, hey, this is and Dylan, then when I start talking, the music drops. But what can you do if you don't want the music to drop? You want the volume to still be loud, but you also want to hear the person. Well, this next trick will do that and it's really easy. So let's add a channel EQ to our music and bring up the user interface. And now around the 800 Hertz mark, let's pull that down and we can adjust our cue to make it a little bit wider. There we go. And what this does is it pulls out the frequencies that are competing with our voice. All right, let's play it back. Hey, this is Dylan, and this is an AVCHD file, and I'm gonna show you I can how hear to myself really Final well, and the music volume is still high. I love that trick of mixing music and my voice. I put together my top nine tips for adding audio effects in Final Cut Pro. Check it out here.